Here's a 1982 Zenith Color TV. This was probably the most basic model for Zenith at this time period, and I think it probably uses the, uh, I'm trying to think, it probably uses the same kind of modules that this one, uh, for instance, would use. This is the type that has, it has a large module on the, uh, and on the bottom that has the uh, high voltage and the power supply and the flyback and then it's got some modules on the side for the chroma and the vertical and stuff. This one here is a little bit later model that just uses the single board for everything. But this one uh, I got recently at an estate sale and I, and I haven't really been going to estate sales because I got plenty of stuff to work on, but I just drove, happened to drive by an estate sale or happened to see a sign, so I thought I'd check it out. And probably need to clean that control, but it works pretty good. Let's see if we can pick up any other channels here. Usually I could get something on that one. I need to try to get a better antenna set up here in this building. Looks like I can only get that one channel at this particular location. And I feel uh, ashamed of myself for snapping this thing off. I I managed to snap this little this little thing off when putting this on the dolly. I I usually am more careful, but I, I, it managed to kind of slip away from me when this little thing broke off. So I really want to try to avoid doing stuff like that in the future, but sometimes accidents just happen. But let me see if I can get the control panel open here. Well, I don't know if I can get it open. I was able to get it open, I think, by inserting like a screwdriver down under there. But it's got the controls in there. And the knobs are very much like on the Xena Solid State Chroma Color 2. I need to spray that control. You make Kentucky a jump shooting ball club. Kentucky right now, only 6 out of 25 in this building from the three-point line shooting 4%. And that Zenith TV was inside of this TV shell here. I went ahead and got this shell too. I may be able to use it like to, uh, to build a radio cabinet for instance. I don't know if I can really use this as it is, but I may I may carefully cut this top off and the sides and uh, use it in making a, uh, a table radio cabinet. These things here are actually plastic, I think. But it would have been nice if it would have had the original TV in. It, did, it does have the control panel. See, it pushes in like that. So I don't know... I don't know if this could be used as a TV again or not. I'm, I'm thinking I probably will just be able to salvage parts and, and wood from it to reclaim in other projects, but I'll see if maybe I'd have a, a shadow or a, a bezel that can be put on it, but I don't think I do. It does have tuner components. And it's got some pretty good speakers. It's always good to find some usable speakers. And the fact that there are two of them, I can use those in a radio cabinet as well. And this is actually hard wood, most of it. It's very lightweight. So there's the, the uh, silver tone TV shell that this was sitting in. And the, uh, the Zenith System 3 color TV. At first the CRT looked a little weak, but I think the focus is pretty good. Once it kind of warmed up and I turned down the color and brightness, it seemed to look pretty decent.